Hi, I'm Rob String from High Point Access and Rescue. Uh, this is our second video on collapse rate. First one covered application. Uh, this one's going to cover simple and compound MA, and the next one will cover, cover complex MA. Okay, so we've got our simple pulley system set up here. You know, the definition we use for a simple pulley system is the travelling pulleys are moving in the same direction and same speed as the load. So as we haul this thing up, that should be what we see. So as we haul it up, we see that these two travelling pulleys moving at the same speed and same direction as the load. Okay, and what's happening is there, as we go up, they're collapsing against the stationary pulleys. So collapse rate is all about determining the speed of collapse of that pulley system relative to the speed of the load. Okay, so let's go through a few of the mechanical advantage rules. Um, if we have a simple mechanical advantage, uh, simple pulley system to determine the mechanical advantage, we count the number of strands that directly support the travelling pulleys and the load. So in this case there's four that directly support the travelling pulleys which in turn support the load. So this would be a simple four to one. In addition to that there's a pulley up at the top here which changes the direction of our haul. So if that weren't there we would have to haul up or that would be termed haul to advantage. Um, but with that pulley in place we need to haul down to lift the load which means that we're hauling to disadvantage. Okay, so let's uh, have a look on the whiteboard. We've got it uh, drawn up here already. So there's our load, travelling pulleys, stationary pulleys, our haul, anchor up the top. So this is a simple mechanical advantage. We've already determined that um, because there's four strands that support the load, it's a four to one. And because we've got that change of direction pulley at the start, it's a four to one CD or four to one change of direction, otherwise known as a four to one pull to disadvantage. Yeah. So again, our collapse rate definition is the speed of collapse of the pulley system relative to the speed of the load. So if by definition, a simple mechanical advantage has all traveling pulleys moving at the same speed in the same direction as the load, it means the collapse rate on a simple pulley system must be one. Okay? And that's the case with all simple pulley systems. We see as we haul that load up, these two traveling pulleys are collapsing against the stationary pulleys at the same speed that the load moves. So our collapse rate must be one. So let's just write that up there. Collapse rate equals one for all simple pulley systems. So we've got a compound pulley system there, so we're going to try and replicate that over here. So effectively what we're going to do is move this pulley with that uh, pulley position up to here. Okay, so I'm going to put a rope grab on there. I'm going to replace that pulley with another one just to, to give ourselves a reasonable amount of room. So we've effectively shifted our pulley from here up onto there. Now this isn't simple anymore and we know that because as we haul it up we know, notice that this travelling pulley moves at the same speed and direction as the load, but this one's moving faster, so it can't be simple. So the definition of a compound mechanical advantage is when a simple pulley system acts on another simple pulley system, which is what we have here. So let's, uh, let's try and identify those two. Now, the terminology we use for each simple component is a throw. So this first component becomes the first throw of our system. Second component is our second throw. Okay, so just some terminology that we use. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Now, we get, for our first throw, we're going to say that this point here is our load. Okay, so we have a travelling pulley and a rope. We count the number of strands that directly support our travelling pulley 
and our load, which would be three. So there's three there. Okay, we've also got this change of direction pulley up here. So this first throw would be called the three to one CD. The second throw has two strands that directly support the traveling pulley, which in turn supports the load. So that would be a two to one. So we have a three to one pulling on a two to one. Sorry, three to one CD pulling on a two to one. So this is compound. We'll say our first throw starts here. So that's our first throw. And we said that that was a three to one with a change of direction. Our second throw is here. We said that that was a two to one. So when we compound those two together, they, the two numbers multiply, so we end up with a six to one with a change of direction. And that's our ideal mechanical advantage. So let's just uh, reset that all the way down there and we haul it up. Now we're going to see that um, this travelling pulley is going to collapse against these two pulleys faster than what this, um, this travelling pulley is. So as we haul it up, we notice that this pulley is moving faster than that one. How much faster? Well, I think it's two times the speed. So this travelling pulley is moving at two times the speed of the load. So this travelling pulley is going to collapse against those two stationary pulleys at two times the speed of the load. So our collapse rate would be two on this particular configuration. Collapse rate equals two. Now that holds, um, th there's an easy way to determine that for any compound pulley system the collapse rate, to determine the collapse rate, we disregard the first throw, look at the mechanical advantage, ideal mechanical advantage of what's left, and that becomes your collapse rate. So in this case, we disregard the three to one, we're left with the two to one, so our collapse rate becomes two. Now that's the same whether you've got two, three, four, five, throws in your compound system, it'll, it'll work true for all of those. Okay, so in quick summary, collapse rate for a simple pulley system is always one. Collapse rate for a compound pulley system, we disregard the first throw, look at the mechanical advantage of the rest of the system, and that becomes your collapse rate. Okay, so I hope you got something out of that. We look forward to uh, bringing the next, the next video, which will be um, complex pulley systems. Thanks for watching.